All right, so I'm standing outside of the Plastic Health Summit where I've just enjoyed a day of top-notch, brand new research on plastic and its impact on human health. And it's been partially depressing, partially nice to be in a room full of people that know so much um, to kind of come to the conclusion that we still know so little. Um, but it's been a really exciting day and we're very excited about sharing all of this with you once the documentary films are out. If the plastic will get into our tissues, then we can expect some inflammatory response. It's, it's quite obviously that we have now identified a number of hazards. We have found microplastics in the food chain. We found plastic, microplastics in soy, worms, and also chicken. The products that are releasing microplastics are like the soles of your shoes. You walk around and you're generating microplastics with every step you take. By wearing synthetic clothes, we contribute to the plastic pollution because these textiles release microplastic fibers. Once in your circulation, they will uh, evoke uh, an immune response that uh, often results in inflammation. The other issue is, of course, um, the chemicals. Hormone action is hacked by chemicals, especially plastic chemicals. In fact, the plastics can act as a factor in bringing these chemicals inside your body, or even maybe in your brain. They can actually cross the barrier into the, into the placenta. Microplastic fibers can reach the lungs, so we can inhale them and those fibers actually stay in our lungs. And um, we don't know what happens. 